Welcome together to our final capstone project of Neue Fische Data Science Bootcamp. We are proud to present you this project after four weeks of intensive work. And here it is, it's Swizzle. Swizzle provides you an automated AI powered notation of songs. And first of all, we will introduce ourselves and show you the who is who of Swizzle. So I'm Flo. Hi, I'm Ivy. Moin, I'm Matthias. Hi, I'm Sebastian. And there are some news for you, which I want to share with you. Fender CEO estimated that an amount of 70 million people play guitar in the whole world at an intermediate or expert level. Even we include here the beginner level as well, the number will be many times higher. Uh, but all these many players have one common problem. Uh, when we want to play a song, we need an annotation to play the song. Therefore, we have to transcribe our own songs manually to annotation or search for them if you heard one. This is very boring. Chain you to your desk and if you want to use an audio file to transcribe a song to play, it even requires a lot of music knowledge. But we have a solution, the Swizzle app. It's easy to use without any draining. You will get rid of all this boring time and it's a smart solution to fill your sheet music book. So I told you about annotation. We need to play a song. Most common form of annotation for guitar players are tabs. But what are tabs? So tabs are a simplified version of notes the most guitar players use while don't knowing much about real notes and general music notation. If you see the six horizontal lines here in this shown tabs, they represent the six strings of the guitar fretboard shown above. And then you see these numbers. They point out the regarding segment in the fretboard called fret. Here you have to press your finger beginning from the left. So for example, the six, you have to press the second string at the fret six, and for the eight here, press the first string in the fret eight. This knowledge enables an easy and fast way to learn play the guitar. Since we use an AI, we of course need data to work with. And in this case, we use a data set consists in on the one hand of audio files in the WAV format. We have about 360 songs of different guitar players, playing styles and record modes. On the other hand, we have the annotation files in JAMS format, which, which is a JSON based schema and contains information about timestamps and frequencies. Let's play a sample song. Now you are surely interested how we did Swizzle, and I'm happy to hand over to Sebastian, who, we can, who can tell you a lot more about different steps in the project. Awesome. Thank you, Flo. Yeah, so now that we know about the what and why, let's actually talk about the how. Um, in the first step, all data that our app receives is pre-processed. And this pre-processed data is then handed to the model, which tries to estimate the nodes that were played. And these estimates are then cleaned and reshaped during post-processing to represent the tabs that Flo mentioned earlier. Finally, these tabs are then shown in our app for the user. It is on this app where the user can also upload their own data, here called user input, and this audio data then enters our pipeline in the pre-processing step. Now, when generating training data, uh, we can use the same pipeline. However, the only difference is then that the training data or the data set that Flo also presented earlier is, of course, also uh, containing the annotation files. But our pre-processing can also handle that, putting together the correct audio files with the correct labels. So let's actually talk about this first step, the pre-processing a little bit more. So as mentioned before, this is where the audio enters our pipeline. And in a first step, this audio data is then transformed, transformed into a numerical representation by constant Q transformation. In plain terms, we generate a spectrogram. And you can see an image representation of that spectrogram here in the middle. Now, this image is now subjected to data augmentation, where we split the image into multiple overlapping images um, to show features that the spectrogram has in many different contexts. And we call these windows then context windows. Um, 
When generating training data, as you can see below, just to give you some numbers, we also have to uh, assign the correct label to each of these context windows. And for our data set, that meant that after the pre-processing, we had over 470,000 images that we needed to assign the correct labels to. Now, after making sure all of this worked correctly and that the shape is in the correct format, we hand all of this data over to the CNN, which is what I'm going to do right now. So Abby, take it from here. Uh, thank you, Sebastian. So here for SWISO model, we use a convolutional neural network model, which is popularly used for image classification and object detection. In our case, we use CNN to learn the audio images to classify which nodes are played. So the process data input goes into several convolutional layers to learn about the features for classification. And then we use a max pooling layer and flatten the data and put them into the dense layers that shape the data into a dimension of 126, which in the end is reshaped into a 6 times 21 matrix using a softmax function. The number 6 and 21 is related to the structure of the guitar, which I will explain in the sample output. So here, the six rows correspond to the six strings on the guitar, and the first column is zero if the string is played one otherwise. The second column will be zero, it will be one if the string is played with an empty fret. Now the rest 19 columns correspond to the 19 frets on the guitar. So in this output we see here, the second string is played because the first column is zero on this row, and we count to see that there it is played on the sixth fret. So this represents a note on the A string and the sixth fret. So now we understood the Swizzle model and the output, let's look at the model performance. So here, to evaluate how correct we are with the output tab tabs, we come up with our own metrics, the percentage of correctly predicted frames. We look at the predictions by thread and by string and count the cases only when both are correct. And then there's a second scenario when, when there is no note played, no note played. And then we count the cases where we correctly predict the empty frames. So, if we feed all the audio data, including the solo tracks and the backing tracks into the Swizzle model, we achieve the overall correctness of 81.8%. And if you look into the chart shown here, the error occurs more in the predicting threads. And in comparison, it's already shown on the left-hand side, you can see where the Swizzle model shines. So if we only train on the solo songs, we achieve a much better overall correctness of 91.4%. Impressive, right? Now, you must be excited to see this video app. So we have a big explanation, explanation mark for your attention. And from here, Matthias will take over and show you the magic of Svido app. Hi. So I know that you're all waiting to see finally our front end. So are you ready for Swizzle? So here you can see our, our browser-based Swizzle app. So all the musicians outside will love it. It's very easy to use. So you just browse your files, choose your recorded song, and then you just press the, back, the button and do Swizzle what they have to do. And you see, as promised, you see the guitar tabs and you even have the chance to play your song. So you can see this, the song, what we just heard, is represented in the guitar tabs. So you see the strings and the numbers where you need to press on the guitar. So, but when you want to upload another song, just go back to the main page and try it out with another song. So, and now after talking about this fun stuff, and I, I caught your attention, let's go back to business. So we see a lot of potential in a lot of users and users and customers, uh, which are musicians all over the globe. And a lot of benefits we see, like the musician will save a lot of time uh, using Swizzle instead of um, 
doing it myself. So in also there are some digital features like you can print your tabs or you just send it to a friend all over the world via email or create your own notebook. After all this work, we identified a lot of future improvements or developments, what we can do. So we really would like to focus, for example, on core detection, what we can combine with lyrics, or even also uh, implement a feature for live recording. Um, you're more than welcome to visit us in our breakout room to hear more about our secrets of Swizzle. We would like to thank the whole Neue Fischer team and thanks for your attention. <laughs>